a 75% extra gold and XP bonus. It's not hard. Okay. This game is a this game is a joke. No, I, re I remember playing it. I think I played it back in November of last year. Maybe it was the year before, but I was just blazing through everything, and I was like, this this isn't that fun because there's no difficulty here. It's just... I don't no, know. if anything, I feel like if anything, hard might also be slightly too easy, but I don't want to... I don't want to run into those situations where I'm like... Where I'm like... Where the struggle is somewhat real, like... Majority of the fun is kind of just rolling this game. Yeah. So it's all about just getting settings, the best gear. Campaign. We'll do the campaign because I hate I hate the story, but <laughs> we could skip it. <laughs> we could skip uh, all it, that. It nonsense. just it does it doesn't it just doesn't feel as um does it, it just it feels a little it feels more disconnected and I, I I tend to lose motivation more if I'm not if I don't have the story at least for the first run of a new character. Once I get to the story one like blaze to the story, I don't give a shit. With a new character, then I never have to touch it again. Fair enough. Well, how old is this game now? Like six years old? Uh. Diablo three initially launched. Uh, I think it's older than that. Twenty twelve. Oh my gosh. Eight years old. Jeez. I was yeah. I, I had that for me. That was four. Or girlfriends ago. Oh, damn. <laughs> I I measure time based on how many girlfriends. But That's it's fair. a bad habit. It's a no. real bad habit. We all measure different ways. I just gotta get used to controls again. So A is gonna be your punch. B is a special attack. Mike isn't picking up game audio. Okay. Good. Controls too. <laughs> okay, there's that. I can I can allocate my Paragon points. Hell yeah. Nice. All right. So, um, can you add, when you when you open the menu with start, can you access the Paragon subheader? Yes. Or are you lock? Are you locked out of it? Okay. So you've got. You got four four core category four categories. You got core, which will, which is just strength, vitality, movement, speed, and maximum wrath, which is your mana. Offense is attack speed, cooldown reduction, critical hit chance, and critical hit damage. Utility area damage, uh, resource cost reduction, life per hit, and gold find. And defense, your life armor resists all, and life regeneration per second. Um, Two of them, Strength and Vitality, are limitless. You can keep pumping points into them forever. But the rest of them cap out at 50. So uh, oh, in, order to, in order to quote-unquote max them out, you have to get to Paragon level... Uh, eight, level 800 to get everything to 50. Oh my god. <laughs> so... I think I tried doing that, but I got bored. Yeah, I, I feel like you'd have to just non-stop to grind to that. That just sounds exhausting. Um, I, well, I mean, I, case, I mean, I did stop eventually because it was just a monotonous grind. Mm -hmm. I was trying to go for all of the in-game achievements too, and that was just a lot of them depend on enemy, certain enemies that uh, that may or may not spawn, and having to track them down is a gigantic pain. Mm -hmm. Let's let's allocate here. Um, five there, and five there. Five, five. Oh, that's what I'm doing. 
And you can, you can as you add them, if you decide you don't want them there, you can allocate elsewhere. And there's no, like, punishment, or you don't have to go to a certain... No, 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 it. no, you can, you, you, they're... They're one hundred percent freely interchangeable. So say you're say you're going to a situation where you want to collect as much money as possible, you can just you can just un un uh, put take everything out and just pump it all into gold find for that one instance. Oh nice. Yeah. Uh that's crit damage. Now, is this uh, like other certain uh, action RPGs where you might not want to put points into certain things, or is it allocated so that, like, if you're a monk, you every stat is important to you? Does that make sense? Like, you know, like when you're playing Dark Souls, like if you're wanting to play a certain class, you don't put points into your luck, or you don't put points into your strength. You put them elsewhere, like magic or. Ba base stat allocation, your strength, dexterity, um, intelligence, and vitality will increase uh, on their own per level. Um, what it will, and what you're going to find is that the any any of the items that you find are their stat bonuses are all pretty much always going to be geared toward your specific class and its designated stat. So, in my instance, as a uh, paladin or crusader, my designated stat is strength. And I can tell because dexterity, intelligence, and vitality are like eight or nine, and strength is thirty-five. Um, it's just the gear that you find is just going to be geared towards your stat, um, and your par your paragon stuff is only going to give you stuff that benefits you. So, okay, don't you don't that they really when I say they when I say they <laughs> dumbed it down, they got rid of stat allocation and like skill trees. Everything is just. Um, Everything is linked in terms of progression for your character. Okay, so very streamlined. So in some way, I, I imagine some people like that. It sounds like you're more or less. I I well, it it removed the concept of builds. They yeah. changed, They they sort of at re added builds with um specific armor sets, which basically changes up your playstyle based on the set. Um, but it it did it did remove some. Uh, level of choice. I really, really miss skill trees. Yeah. Uh, okay, I guess I'll just use shrimp. Penance. Or trains. Alright, I am decked out. Alright. Okay, just... I should probably let you lead. You're the... The more OP person here. Uh, you are going to be much faster than me. Oh, all right. I'll just take. Uh, my time. I I play I I my I I usually only play monks, and they are speedy. <laughs> So is this like when they make a game quote unquote harder, they just give like more health to the enemies, or is it? Oh like yeah, there's yeah. It, it, does, it doesn't add a challenge; it just makes everything tougher. Hmm. That's always lazy. I mean, fun. <laughs> yeah, I know. But I mean, it's 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 a it's a it's a dungeon crawler. The idea is ooh, no, make number big. Right. The 
dead will overwhelm us all. Something, something. Hmm. I'm trying to remember if this game it's broken up in chapters, right? So like you're able to go um, back to areas or no? Uh you can uh, it's broken up into chapters and act. Um you can yeah, you'll be able to basically just go back. Uh, I don't know if you can in the story mode, but you can in the in the story mode, but it just you gotta go. But you can freely hop between adventure and story. Okay. It's, they give a, they give a lot of freedom to just completely ignore everything. <laughs> There are more of them in the ruins down the road. Down the road. What I usually do is I usually uh, go around per go around the perimeter and then fill in the middle. Yeah, that's usually the best tactic I've found with games like this. So when they make it where the games are so unilaterally uh, across the board um, accessible is there ever an instance where if you're playing a certain class you're going to be um, hindered in any way until you get better gear or is it the game's going to accommodate whatever class you pay, play to make sure you're not not having fun kind of thing does that make sense um I mean it's it, it, it's it, it this this game more kind of invented the whole just running around and collecting loot. Mm -hmm. So it, it's just it's gonna be, it's it's all randomly generated. It's, it, it, you're gonna get shit you don't need. You're gonna get shit that you absolutely that you that you, that you will want. Uh, it's just I mean you're not gonna have a bad time. But it's <laughs> it, it hits it hits all those those uh, it hits those endorphin gotcha uh, things where you see big number. <laughs> we always like those. Those are fun. I can never remember to switch like actual button names. Like it says ZR. I couldn't tell you which one that is. I know it's a shoulder button, but I couldn't tell you which one until I look at it. Uh, it's... Well, you got... You got L and R. The Z button, the Z buttons are just your L2 and R2. Yeah. <laughs> I just. Uh, uh, what is that? Ooh, that's fitting. The old ruin. Okay, well, this isn't the old ruins, but. That's... Oh, that's sun. Okay. And what's the is purple always best or or is there a better uh, color than purple? Uh, purple item? Yeah. Did you pick up everything? I might have. I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't. I, I didn't know if um items were uh, client specific or not. I don't either. <laughs> uh, I guess. I guess it is. I saw some. I have gathering uh, shoes and thick shoes. Um, so I think. I think what it's gonna do is it's gonna give us. Uh, it's gonna. I guess it'll drop items for all of us, and it's only generally gonna. It's generally only gonna give us um, items for our class. Okay. Uh, you're not gonna. You're not gonna, like. Occasionally, you'll get things for other other classes. You just sell them. Okay. Um, but purple purple items are, I think, among the rarest. 
Gotcha. Alright, so I'll try not be as loot grabby if that's the case. Well I mean if if like I said, it's only gonna give for us two classes. So if you get if you pick up something for for a crusader, then you're not gonna be you're not, it's not gonna allow you to equip it anyway, so you might as well give it to the person it belongs to. Gotcha. Um how do you okay, so just, just click on it and X, okay. Yeah. Alright. Uh oh use the uh use the right stick to dodge roll. You don't really need to do that. You mean you might have to? Yeah. Okay, let's not go through there yet. I shut up here. Uh, later, later, in, later in the game, this will be a permanent portal to the pony world. Oh boy, ponies! Are they bad ponies? Uh, I mean they they attack you. <laughs> Uh, but they explode into just red mists of viscera. It's great. <laughs> Interesting. Something to look forward to. Good to know. Oh, Is this your first Crusader run? Um, I rolled a Crusader, but I didn't get to be too far with them. Um, mm -hmm. I played Paladin a lot in Diablo 2, but that's not comparable at all. <laughs> they they focus a lot. On, they focus a lot on R's and buffs. Uh, that's their thing. Because they're holy warriors. So how does that work when you're playing solo? It seems like it would be a little bit more difficult of a game to try and play that way. I mean, they're 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 all passive. Ah. A lot of them are just passive, so you, you just you just turn them on. They've announced a Diablo 4, yes? Yes. Okay. Uh, so far, it looks, it looks good, but when they announced Diablo 3, that also looked good. <laughs> oh, but I didn't do that. No. You, see, you do see this axe, right? Uh, kind of. It's... No, I just see you holding, it looks like a knife. Could you turn a oh, little the, bit? You don't, you, don't see an, you don't see an axe on the ground? No. Oh, okay. So it does it does drop loot uh, client side. So what the item that I saw on the ground that was no longer there, the minion picked it up. These will run around and pick things up for you. Oh, all right. I believe. So it's like I mean, that, that torch that torchlight uh, style where they can. If you played torchlight, then this game should make a lot of sense. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Probably about the same amount of time that I've played. Um... Diablo 3, but yeah, general consensus is there. I mean, Torchlight was made by these a couple of the same guys. So there's going to be a lot of similar DNA. Gotcha. Uh, can I do that? Nope. That... That's a pain. I'm trying to make, see if I can make the map bigger, but I guess not. Uh. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Graveyard sort of thing. Lord Tristram. Lord Tristram. Diablo himself. This is where this is where the first game took place. Oh. Would you even know that unless you'd played the other games? Uh no. <laughs> I mean they, they, they tell you they tell you like, oh this this is the ruins of this, this is Tristram now and then 
They'll talk about it throughout the story uh, a little bit, but they do their best to cover it up for that reason. Mm. So it's fan service if you know what it is. Otherwise, it's just a location. It's entirely fan service. And... Well, the thing is, in Diablo 2, it, the same thing happened in that you go back to uh, you go back to Tristram and, every, and it's overrun by monsters and everyone everyone you know from the previous game is dead. Uh, so it's, it's fan service in that, but you have to see the remains of you know these characters that you love. <laughs> going so going so far as to having having to kill one. I don't have enough spirit. Well, that sounds rough. Is it a justified uh, killing, or is it like they would well, I mean, were corrupted? I mean, he's, he's a character that you you talk to the most. I think he's the he's the weapons uh, weapons dealer. Um. So he becomes you know your your greatest ally. So that's gonna that's gonna take you back to the uh, when you, you activate checkpoints, you can just hop between them as you need to. Gotcha. Um. Oh, we have to go back. We have to we have to go back. Uh. Um, so anyway, so he, as he became your quote-unquote greatest ally, uh, he's now turned into a zombie, and he hits like a fucking truck. <laughs> Thank you for your Thank help. You for your help. Could you talk Could some you sense? Talk? She's She's sense. Brave. Yes, yes, we have to talk to Leah. Leah, let us find your own. We need to open the cathedral. Okay. Your friends, we, your friends, we... Thank you. I'm glad you were there to do that for us. Because we have weapons, we couldn't have knocked it down ourselves. No, of course not. No. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. And your father. This is a silly question. They have books of Diablo, yes? Like, expanded canon and stuff? Uh, yes. Uh, a couple of them? Uh, a lot of them take a lot of them take place, um, uh, like pre-game events and whatnot. Uh, it's more just like world building. Gotcha. Uh, you'll familiar characters will 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 show up, but uh, yeah, it's 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 usually it's, the novels rarely take place during the event though. I died! Oh no! I was not paying attention. Is there any way I can ivy? It says resurrect checkpoint or corpse. Seems like corpse. Uh, yeah, resurrect on corpse. Uh, you might lose a little bit of gold, um, but gold will soon no longer not be a problem. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. Here's the key. Here's the key. And I will go. Thank you. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. Last night, I suspected what was lurking within his troubled heart. I consoled him as best I could. Best I could. Regardless, regardless, wherever he's, wherever headed, he's headed, headed, hell will show. For a long time, time. this is where Diablo. I don't know. I don't know. How did your How did your Uncle Decker. Uncle Decker. When do you unlock runes? Is that like, that's like a campaign thing, right? Like you just have to progress far enough in the story. For what now? For runes. Uh, rune words were a thing in Diablo too. They got. Oh. And that was when we were not not happy about it. because that that offered a lot of customization options to your weapons. It's a bummer. And armor and such. So when they got rid of runes, yeah, I was I was I was. Hmm. So I hit level six. Um, you're you've gotten enough skills that now you're starting to um, 
uh, levels are going to unlock your skills, but they're also going to unlock modifiers. Mm -hmm. So, for example, my primary uh, mash A, I've got the current one I have is Punish, but I can also, uh, or I can equip Slash, and the, 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 each one will do something different. Uh, strike your enemy with hard and sense, increasing your chance to block. Ignite the air in front of you, damaging all enemies. I'm gonna go slash. Uh, when you block with hard and yeah, and I, I'm not much of a blocker. Um, if given the opportunity to block for parry, I generally. Yeah, I'm still I'm sure. not a blocker either. I pretty much just take it. <laughs> That's why I'm not very good at fighting games. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like I think the only time I ever blocked in fighting games was when I was starting to, when I was getting like really into Mortal Kombat nine way back when. A lot of a lot of the modifiers are usually some kind of bonus or an element, or it gives a elemental damage. And you eventually unlock all of them, and you can apply them like whatever. It just fits your personal preference. Whatever, yeah, whatever you need based on like, oh, the thing I'm going to fire, so I should damage. Gotcha. And put it in turn. It's like ice or whatever. Uh, can't get through there yet. Actually. Um, my equipment here real quick. Skills. Paragon. I'm gonna turn... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm taking, I'm taking my Paragon points off critical hit and chance because I want to increase attack speed. I'm so fucking slow. <laughs> That's better, I guess. You have a javelin now. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh. I also have the a great, the, 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 the great the great thing about the great thing about uh, I mean I guess the bad thing about weapons is that there's still like class specific ones. So there's there's gonna be things that you can't equip even though you're not even using it. That sucks. So I have, a, I have a question. I like asking this question um, just because it's I've gotten different answers. But in terms of uh, you're you're playing a female character, is there a particular reason uh, why you why you would choose a female um, or a male? So for a game for a game like this, um, I mean, I mean it's no it's 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 not a big surprise I'm more attracted to the female form but I just generally feel like there's it, to me it's just more aesthetically pleasing uh, for certain games I will do that other games um, I prefer to be a more of a self insert like Animal Crossing I played as myself um, Pokemon I generally um, play play as a male uh, it it just it kind of comes down to the game. Um, <laughs> I think it's just because I'm one of those fucking heteros. <laughs> no, that's, I mean, it's, that's valid. It's more valid than strictly just saying, I want to look at boobs, you know? I mean, this game is already very cartoon, already has a very cartoony style on, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, a very cartoony style as it is. And when it, when they put it on the Switch, it, at the sacrifice of, oh, this is Trump, at the cost of, Poly count and made him even more blockier. So it's I'm not there's not much to look at to begin with. Right. 
Um, well, that's why DeviantArt of, exists, to fill in those blanks. That's true. In terms of like when I was playing a monk, uh, my main monk, um, I just didn't I just didn't care for the male voice actor. I didn't care for the female voice actor either, but I tolerated one more than the other. <laughs> so I remember uh, back when Mass Effect was a bigger deal, um, I had a friend who strictly played um, female Shepard? Yeah. And uh, they just... Femshep. Femshep, yeah. And uh, they were very adamant about um, their reasoning, and it was because at the time um, they just felt like lack of representation of female uh, lead cane characters, and they just sort of justified the uh, existence or, or the popularity, I guess. So that was interesting. So now every time I see the option of playing male or female, and I see a male playing a female or a female playing a male, I'm just curious their motivations uh, or their um, reasons. Me, it's almost it, me. It's almost entirely aesthetic. It's not like I'm. A, it's not like it's not from a perspective of I'm a goddamn porn dog. It's, right. it's more just aesthetic. I just. Yeah. Um, but the thing about Matt, it's funny you should mention Mass Effect. Is that when I for the short little while that I did play Mass Effect on PS3, um, I did I did roll a fem ship, but because even within the customization options that we were given, um, I could not make. Male Shepherd that I thought was any or any kind of like just palatable, palatable to my eyes. So fair, that's fair. I just, I just want, I just want, I just want to create an attractive character. I don't yeah, they put all the tools there. Why wouldn't you make the effort to make him as hot or attractive as possible? Because I mean, if I could have made it, if I could have made it, like like a David Bowie male Shepherd, then yeah, I absolutely would have. <laughs> But I couldn't. Everyone loves an androgynous space hero. Exactly. God, that would have been perfect for Mass Effect. Man. Let's get Bioware on the phone. No, no, they're not allowed to make Mass Effect games. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, they fucked up too hard. <laughs> Agreed. Which is, which, which I was kind of just disappointed. Um, I started, I had started playing Mass Effect for the first time a week before they announced Andromeda. <laughs> so un unknowingly, I had named my femship Andromeda. <laughs> and I'm like, so when they announced the game, I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> These guys suck. They they do uh, there's explosive damage and they that create worms. Yikes, that's gross. Uh, in in the in the upper difficulties, that explosion can can one hit you. Ugh. But at least it gives you warning and enough time to get out of the way. Uh, yeah, definitely one of the, that's one of those in, uh, instances. So we're not. We got <laughs> to the next. We got we got down to the next level, but we have we haven't cleared out this upper level. We can move on if you want. Hey, you're the leader. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. We're gonna have to clear everything out 100 percent I'm so bad for that. It's alright. My less I mean it's more experience. Yeah. I just can't hope it's gonna be bigger. Yeah, that's weird. I feel like you could have done that at one point. Am I wrong? No, in in single in single player you can. You can oh. you can make it bigger. I'm trying to that doesn't do anything. That just pings me. Oh, press down on the D-pad. That's what it is. <gasps> Magic. Okay. Okay. Okay, good to know. I'm coming. I got distracted just checking out my gear. I look less homely now. Still homely, but less homely. Oh yeah, you gotta get that fat loot.
Um, part of the part of the reason why I really like playing the monk, uh, especially when I was like rounding out the the, the class uh, skills, is that so you're gonna get some skills later on where you can where anything within a certain radius will immediately be uh, stuck to your position. Uh, this is basically your closing your eyes a gap closer, uh, and then you'll also get a really powerful, uh, heavily spammable roundhouse kick. So you suck everybody in close to you, and then you just roundhouse the <laughs> shit out of them until they die. <laughs> it is so satisfying. That sounds awesome. Did we miss something? Yeah, we missed going north. Okay. We got. We yeah. There's a lot to explore. Just gonna come out of here. So those bats we fought when we first came in that were glowing blue, is that just like uh, uh, those are those are ch those are champion enemies. They generally have some sort of um, bonus attack modifier as you saw those ones had knockback so they could throw you backwards. Uh, they generally just have more uh, more health. Um, they they hit harder, they got that modifier and they tend to drop better loot. Gotcha. Um, and they're just random. When as you as you progress further in the game they're um, the modifier that they have, I'm going to. They're going to get more, and they're going to get worse ones. <laughs> uh, one of the worst ones, I think, is Arcane, in which it'll just drop a, a laser beam, and if you stand that laser beam, it melts you. Oh, so fucking fast. That's uh... so. If, so if you if you come across one that has like a uh, barrier where it can create wall, uh, or um, or or like stun and. Uh, arcane, so it'll just it'll just stun you, and then place like 15 lasers. On you. And oh, look at that! You're dead. <laughs> Wonderful. That sounds so. Yeah, it 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 gets it gets real dickish. And that's why we love it. Because <laughs> I mean, like you like you like you found out, you can just spawn you can just spawn on corpse, and not much of a of a penalty. Whereas in Diablo one or two, if you die, you got sent back to town uh, naked. You lost all your equipment, so you had to go back to where your corpse was and pick your shit back up. Oh wow! Without any um, equipment. And, and, you, and if you died to a particularly powerful enemy, uh, you had to make sure that they didn't they don't snipe you while you're naked before you pick your shit back up. Yikes! <laughs> so uh, there's a lot of quality. You would call them quality of life changes, but I would call them just. A lot of people don't like it, but a casualization because there's no, not a lot of risk anymore. Yeah. I guess that's the, that's that is the, double-edged sword of of making a game like this where you want to make it as appealing to everyone, but yeah. the audience that got you there, you can't quite betray them, but you know they're probably gonna buy it anyway. So it's like, well, why not? They hold me, but it took. It took a couple of years of changing the game's core concepts to a degree before I got back in. Yeah. So. But I mean, if if you if you really want the core mode that you could, that you could have chosen when creating your character. Yeah, I saw that one. I was like, I'm I'm good. <laughs> I thought about it, but I just I like my I I I, I play too recklessly in order for that to be on, for that to be a yeah. viable option. Uh, I drove my dream through this dark and heart. Because, like you said, I'll just I'll I'll just see these enemies with 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 sun and arcane and be like, eh, whatever, and run <laughs> face first into them, not caring. And oh, I died. Oh. I, well, that's what they have health potions for, right? Uh, well, they initially didn't have health potions. They they do. You can see if you hit R there, you have a health potion, but it's on a cooldown. Um, when you kill enemies, they'll they'll sometimes drop um, uh, a 
red orbs and those just instantly kill your health. Hmm. Ooh, experience bonus. Let's not waste it. Hopefully we did not clear out this room or this level and there's still stuff to kill. Fuck! <laughs> there's nothing here! Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna get that level. Yeah, see, there's uh, there's the red orb we just got. I healed us up, nice. and I think we're done. Well, that was uh. They're gonna end up fucking. Or he's a homosexual and he will eventually out himself. <laughs> ah, yep. Let me guess, that's a story about her life? Or a loose, loose adaptation kind of thing? I am lost. Hold on, I'm coming down. I think. Oh shit. <laughs> Here we are. Alright, cutscene. Oh boy. They, this is everyone's favorite character throughout the whole franchise, and they do they do him so fucking dirty in the game. I hate it. <laughs> Very little strategy in this boss fight. <laughs> It was Thank not. It was not. It is wonderful to hear that Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. Aesthetics, but uh, there will, you'll be able to later on unlock a character where you can just change the look of your armor to whatever you want. Oh, cool! So, so, so at least what you can make everything look to a degree unified. Oh, that's good. So you don't have to collect all the same gear. You can just make it look. Yeah. Okay. That's you can uh, you you can unlock by finding certain items that have unique. I have kept I have my kept my then once you have, have that unique look, you can. Uh, it costs more, but... Yeah, it seems like money's not really an issue in this game. Oh, it gets real fucking expensive. Some things in this game get real expensive. Oh. 
like for, like prohibitively so when you're um starting when you unlock the jeweler um you're gonna find gems to sock it into armor and weapons um fusing lower class gems into higher class ones we're talking like millions and millions of gold to get the highest stuff and even then it's even then getting gold is not that easy oh well, that sounds daunting um i mean this this game is just it's this is rinse and repeat the game <laughs> where you just do everything over and over and over we and then it's people like people like it yeah i mean it's lasted seven years and there's a fourth game in the way so yeah there's something there there's... i really hope i really hope i'm not disappointed with the fourth one they I hope they don't fuck this up <laughs> <laughs> I'm all I. Yeah. And your friend, your friend it was my duty. Was my duty to help. Like it's like it's like, said, like the third game also looked good, and I was pretty disappointed initially. So let's see, hopefully they've learned their lesson. Do you think they have though? Well, not last last was. They, when the only Diablo thing they, they showed off was that mobile game. Mm -hmm. That definitely was not in their... Um, now what they've shown off of Diablo 4 is that it's not cart it's not, not so cartoony looking. You know, it's 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 gone back to its sort of dire, gr edgy, grim, dark. But this is all like pre-alpha shit, so it, it can all change. Did that, that mobile game still hasn't come out yet, has it? Or did it come out and just sort of get right under the radar? Uh, no, it's it's still in development. Mm. Do you see that ever actually getting like a console release eventually, or do you the think the mobile it's... game? Yeah. I mean, it'll play in the same vein as like it'll be in the, it'll be the same situation as like Fallout Shelter in that like yeah, it's the exact same game. And it's clearly a mobile game. And it's got all those mobile game tropes. So even if, if it does, then it'll come down to, yeah, it's out. Do you, do we even want to play it? Probably not. <laughs> it's just mobile trash. Right. And it'll definitely hit the Chinese market first. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Talk to Hadrig. All right. Find that back. What did you learn? Does Tencent have stake in Blizzard? I feel like they have stake in everybody. Um... Maybe they're Riot. Maybe they're Riot that they have stake in. I know Ten Tencent does have... I don't think Blizzard... Because I think they're co-developing the the Diablo mobile game with NetEase. Ah. I think. Um, I'm in the Sacred Scorched or something. Where am I? I don't know where I... I talked to some guy in Scorched Chapel. What do I do here? Oh! I feel like I'm not supposed to be here. Hang on. Oh wait, I'm transferring um, back. Hold on. Uh, Scorch Chapel uh, will be definitely be used on for fighting some very difficult bosses, optional bosses. All right, I'm just transferring back to Tristam. I just click, click too quickly through conversations. <laughs> oh. This guy? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. That's for PV. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is the this is the artisan. She'll she'll uh, make make all your shit look pretty. Nice. And you can also uh, use her to ma uh, magical modify. Uh, it's uh, somewhat random. Blacks me. Blacks yeah, me. We gotta go. We gotta go kill a zombie. We gotta go kill a zombie. I feel like we've been doing that for the last hour, but sure. Well, this one, this one, this one's important because it's the wife of a main character. Be 
Were you a fan of Borderlands? I can't remember. I have played Borderlands in the past. Um, I've yet to finish one. Me and a friend keep trying to keep trying to like get through it and co-op it, but it never seems to happen. Um, I like Borderlands. I don't like Randy Pitchford, and I don't like you. But Borderlands is fun, so it's it, I'm in a tough spot. Right. Like I own the first three. Plus the Telltale game. Did you buy them on sale? It's a, it's a drag doing it solo. I'm in your day. It's just not as fun. Repair shit. And if you see my fool apprentice out, there, tell him to get back. So yeah, I mean, a friend keep trying to uh, co-op through it, and. uh... Life like life likes to get in the way. Yeah. I think I started at Borderlands two, maybe. Um, I don't remember, but I was playing with people that had played it just so many times, and they were just barreling through it that it was just like, I'm not even playing. I'm just basically watching someone play the game because I'm not really contributing anything. But you're getting, you're getting experience. I'm getting an experience, sure, but I just I feel like I wasn't accomplishing anything. I feel like there was nothing happening that I was just like, well, I feel like I'm doing anything and just. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. It just wasn't that fun for me. That's why. Yeah, uh, that's why me and a friend are a little. Well, it's that's it's that's the play with another person at maybe a second. That way, you're not gonna get completely overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. But um, there's so few of you that. You know, you're, it, yeah, it, it sort of feels like you're doing something. Yeah. You're contributing to the team. Not enough speed. Not enough skills speed. back. I did not like that move. Did we miss something? Yeah, the blue arrows are objective. Oh shit! I'm <laughs> I'm thinking the blue arrows are where you were, and then I just realized there's two on screen. I was like, "There." Yeah, I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, the the other one, the one that you're close to is is the is the is the next. I believe it's the objective. Yeah, fuck it. We'll just go there. I don't care. Oh no, I wasn't going there to go there. I was. I literally thought that was where you were. So I was just yeah, no, I thought, I thought that too, and even though you're right next to me, <laughs> the game broken. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, what is that blue arrow taking us? Because that's leading us back to town. Did we, we didn't finish, I didn't see anything saying objective accomplished. What? Find what the, is this blue arrow? Find the cemetery what? of the Forsaken in the Weeping Hollow, and it's... T what? You know what? Fuck it. Fuck I'm it. just ignoring it. Yeah. That's weird. The game is broken. Good job. Get back here, you pussy. How's Canada going with the COVID stuff? Seems like you guys are handling it a lot better. Um. Well, yeah, we only have like we only have I think in the in the city less than a thousand. It's pretty good. Yeah. Like mm. I think only forty people have died. Hmm. Like in your area? I, but, I, but I could be completely wrong. Yeah. Um, it, it could be lower. Um, yeah, I just wish I didn't have to go to work. That sucks. Oh, man. 
And you're not in the position to be able to like work from home or anything like that. Uh, no, it's kind of hard to stop grocery store shelves from home. Have, have you tried? I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, I've raised the I've raised the idea, and nobody's taking seriously. <laughs> Oh, that sucks. At least are like, are the people being cool that are coming in, or are they um, there's been demanding? a one or two um, potential altercations that have ar arisen between some crotchety old people. Hmm. Other than that, people are generally like there was okay. So there was this wasn't really a confrontation, but I was um, I was doing price changes, and I was up near I was up near the up near where the tills are. Uh, cause that's where we have all like the cookies and candy and I I have I have my I have a shopping cart and I've got the price tag new price tag and I cut I cut past this guy because I have to go try to change prices and he pulls ahead from where he's but where the line where the line like so you're supposed to stop and be called up to the next thing and the the woman who's, who's directing people to each one is like oh you have to step back there and he immediately, and I knew he was going to do this, he immediately, oh, that guy cut in front of me. <laughs> and when, uh, I, because I knew he was going to say it, I'm like, I work here, dude. <laughs> oh, well, uh. <laughs> wow. I'm like, you fucking boomer, get back in line. <laughs> wow. Is that, is that 10 to 15 second difference of you waiting really going to be much in the end, honestly? Like... And there was like there was and it wasn't it was definitely not at like peak, it was definitely not at peak rush right like at the time he, it was like him and maybe one other person in line so I don't know what his fucking problem was you other than a sense of entitlement from being born at the right time I guess. <laughs> oh, I was in uh... but I knew but I knew he was gonna say something yeah. about me I could just I could just feel it in the act yeah. That's one of those instances that you want to be wrong. You're like, this guy's not going to say anything. It's not going to be a situation. And then as soon as they just start breathing, you're like, God damn it. Ah, yeah, no, exactly. And I'm like, y'all, you fucker. <laughs> but at the same time, me being me, I'm just like, yeah, 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 no, definitely. Call me out. Do it. I dare you. See what happens. <laughs> I, I need this. I need this. I, I, I work here for minimum wage. Get back in line, bitch. <laughs> At least you had like the the witness there to also be like, what? You have no foundation. Yeah, no, for exactly, your... exactly. Because he didn't say. Because when I pa when I walked past him, he didn't say anything. So you you definitely know he was just he was trying to pull a card for yeah. a, with an audience. Jeez. Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Uh, protection. Damage reduced by twenty five percent. Nice. I was in the store a few weeks ago and there was this old guy like going down the baking goods aisle and he looked kind of upset or like he was very reading his body language was he's not happy um, and I was like you need some help and I don't work there this is I was just genuinely trying to be a nice person uh, he's like he's like I can't find the damn sugar and I was like oh man I'm sorry he's like yeah all these people they're hoarding this shit what's going on <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> I was like, oh man, yeah, that sucks. I'm sorry. Um, and then I walked like ten more feet down the aisle, and I was like, because he was looking at the flower, and I was like, oh, the sugar's right there. He was like, oh. I was like, I hope you didn't piss someone off or say something to the wrong person because, at some point. Because it is oblivious. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, I was happy to help you, but man, that could have been really awkward. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But we've all done. We've all said things like that where we just didn't know the full picture and just looked foolish. And I wasn't trying oh, yeah. to make him look foolish, but it was just like, if you walked ten more feet, you would have seen it. Yeah, no. There, there's been there, there was one. There's uh one of the one of the things that's kind of that is hard to come by at my store right now is um flour and yeast because a lot of people are just staying inside and baking. Mm -hmm. And there was one guy who came up. And he was like, oh, I'm looking for I'm looking for yeast, and we had pizza we had like pizza dough yeast. And he's like, oh no, I can't. Oh no, no, I can't use that. And I'm like, all right. <laughs> he was kind of annoyed, but like, not 
to an obnoxious degree. Yeah. But there was this woman who hadn't approached me, but approached a coworker who was also looking for yeast. And we carry yeast in two in two two ways. Because they come in like basically single use packets or uh, small jars. And at the time, we only had the small jars, uh, which is you know better value because you're just getting more yeast. Yeah. And it's but they're dark glass, kind of like a beer bottle. Activated by light. Picks up the jar, like the she's shown the. She's, oh, I can't use that. That's liquid. I need. I need the. I need the. <laughs> yeast doesn't come in a liquid form. <laughs> You're just, just a moron. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, I would probably make that mistake because I don't bake, and if I see something that's like a beer bottle, I would also I would probably assume is this is this you liquid yeast? Dense but motherfucker. This lady sounds like she knows what she's doing, assuming so she knows she's looking for baking materials. So I don't think she has much of an excuse. I'm still stupid though. I won't deny that. But that's that's embarrassing. Well, no, it didn't. It doesn't. No, it didn't come in. A, it came from the stubby little. Oh. But it was dark. Gotcha. I'm sorry. I misheard. I'm sorry. Yeah. These guys are assholes. Uh. Breaking up a bit. I can not hear too much too much from you. Stop running, you cowards! Stop. <laughs> Fine, I'll just. Um. God. Ugh. This sucks. Yes. Ah, shit! I'm back. You chase I chased him to the exit, and uh, he was too close to the exit, so button mashing pushed me out. <laughs> this is, I mean, that is one of the just uh, being on a bump of difficulties. <laughs> like you, you are technically, you are still technically level one, so everything is a little bit more stacked against. Him. Not, not, Im not impassably slowed. Just obnoxiously slow, uh, obnoxious. Yeah. Against you. Eh. Uh, It'll all pay off. We got that entire set. Oof. Oh, I believe also it will um, uh, change uh, the health and and oh. Interesting. 
And as people, as it uh, drop in, change dynamics. Are you an Elder Scrolls person? Elder Scrolls? Uh, I don't like I don't like open world games. Fair enough. Uh, with the exception of Breath of the Wild. Yeah. I know. I don't like open world games, and I don't like 3D Zeldas, and yet somehow Breath. Of the Wild is good. I just think they struck a fine balance of keeping you uh, motivated without. Um, limiting the open world aspect of it? I don't know, there was something, there was magic, whatever they did with that game, it was magic. Yeah, yeah no, it's, that's exactly what it was, exact, it's, uh, it's exactly what I'd say it is, because, um, because, like, when I play, when I play a game like Grand Theft Auto, it's just like, oh, it's city, city, <laughs> city, nothing's really different visual, whereas Breath of the Wild, you had all these different biomes, and mm -hmm. it had that cartoonish charm as well, because I'm a I'm a man-child and only plays these cartoony Nintendo games. <laughs> that sequel's gonna have a lot to live up to. I mean... As long if they get rid of the whole durability of, of weapons thing, then it might it might just be one of the best games ever made. Please, do, or at least make it an option or something. Like, I don't know why you would do that. Even in Animal Crossing, I have no idea why you take why you add that in. It makes no sense to me. When you've had uh, four games that previously that did not have that option, and you suddenly implement yeah. it. Yeah, uh, it's it's not it's not the best aspect. I'll I'll give you that. I fucking hate it <laughs> it's uh it's been we, we found a way to mitigate it by uh you know customize your mm -hmm. you customize your items then it resets the durability count yeah but, but i shouldn't even have to fuck i shouldn't even have to do that nope. i because if i forget to do that and i'm out in the island i might be fucked so awesome well, i mean you're never you're, you're never far you know go to the store and buy a new one or craft a new one like it's just it's more of an annoyance than anything. Yeah. That's Whereas true. in Breath of the Wild, like if you break the really good weapon, who knows when you're gonna fucking find another one? Yeah. Even the Master Sword has a cooldown effect, so even the best sword in the game, you can only use it for a certain amount of time. Where you just have to be like switch to something else for a little bit. Yeah, they really need to change that. Yeah. Other than that, though, I welcome and I welcome more. Uh, and I never, I never even finished Breath of the Wild. I, I unlocked all four of the bosses in the Divine Beast and got my shit kicked in every single time. So yeah, I got enough out of this game. <laughs> I got forty hours and I got I accomplished close to nothing. <laughs> I don't think you need to beat games to really justify them anymore. I've, I've... Oh no, well I mean I. It's, it'd be nice and if it's something like an, if it's something like an RPG like Persona or whatever. Like I'm gonna finish the game. I'm not gonna leave it. I'm not gonna leave it hanging. Yeah. I, I wish should probably play Persona Five Royal at some. I wish I could care about that series, but I just don't. It's just not. Uh, my it's style. not for. It's not for. I mean, it's stylistically cool as hell. Fun uh, battle system. There's a lot there that I should like. I just don't. <laughs> but I wouldn't discourage anyone from ever playing it. I think if you want it, go for it. But that that is one of those games where it's like, what's one of the reasons you play? Well, a, a nice story, really good character development, and the waifu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that hope that can potentially open up an entirely different. Uh, conversation as to why you may or may not play this game that's true i mean no, I, I i just play because i know what i'm gonna get out of it is care is character development that mm -hmm. is in tune with what i want out of character development yeah as well as just a really like you said stylistic as hell uh crawler yep i'm with a, uh, with a suit with a pseudo spiritual 
kind of religious, but not really aesthetic. Hmm. I've never really I mean, looked at it that way. I mean the I mean the end the end boss of the end boss of five is uh it's uh, I'm trying to remember how it, who he is biblically. Um, the dem the de I don't know if you're like the familiar with the the demiurge. Uh, uh, it sounds familiar. Um, but basically, oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm a coming. I mean, I'm yeah, probably not gonna this. be much help, but <laughs> let's get my shit not kicked in here, and then I'll. Man, these things are tough. Are these boss characters? Or... No, this is just a a, a unique. So there, there'll be um, essentially a mini boss. Gotcha. Okay. Um, and what happens with mini bosses is that the minions that are around it also inherit um, the, the skills it has. So these ones can all teleport, and they're stronger. Holy God! Good Lord! They just keep coming. This would be one of those situations. Oh, you know what? Let's get those red orbs. How's that? Ah. That helps a lot. Um, this is one of those instances where life on hit would be really helpful. There we go. Oh, it doesn't help that this thing was spawning them the whole time. Free experience. Oh lord. Okay. That was an ordeal. Okay. Uh... Oh yeah, let's go look at the damage. Uh, the demiurge in Platonic philosophy, I was he he it, it, he's God. So the end boss is God, and you basically pull out uh, uh, your 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 persona. It basically becomes a gigantic version of Satan, and you shoot God in the face with a big ass. Every Japanese person's dream. Per persona Five is pretty cool. <laughs> I think I put thirty forty hours into it. I just. I mean that's that's a that's a fair that's a fair commitment. Yeah. Um, I think my playthrough ended at like hundred and something hours God. from start to finish. Damn it. Very very little idling. <laughs> I just I don't know how you can ask that of someone. It's so much time. I mean, I I think if the story's written well, it'll hold. That's true. Back, I mean, back when I was a kid, I thought, oh, a game needs to be a game, and now at this point, I'm just like, please make the game a movie so I can, or a, bu or a book so I can just passively enjoy it, and I don't, it's not as much of a time commitment. Yeah. I don't have, have to focus. Yeah, can this just I'm be like a old, two-hour movie? Old, I don't it. Yeah. Like, Final yeah, Fantasy was VII was like 30, hour, 30, 40 hours, depending on time, and... I felt like that was enough. I feel like it was even stretched too much that it needed. It could. It didn't need to be thirty hours, but I feel like that was just enough of an RPG for me that I was like, I'm content with this. I don't. Is need it really more. only like thirty hours? Uh, yeah, I'd say average thirty. Um, if you not, do everything, it might take more time. Um, but you could probably get through it in about twenty hours if you just blaze just through the story, not doing any. Oh side god, I'm stuff. such. I'm such. I'm such a completionist. It sucks. <laughs> Yeah, but the annoying. If I if I go ahead knowing I missed something, I either go back for it like immediately, or if I know I can't go back for it, I immediately hate myself. Oh, because I missed it. That sucks. I hate that. The annoying part is once you finish the game, you get a chapter select, so you can go back through and uh, replay. 
but there's no subsections of chapters so so you gotta do the whole thing the, and there's some chapters that are just hours long so you just gotta get through it just to get to that one pot just to get the thing that you need and it's like no fuck this i'm not doing this shit just why is this not because there's like a vr simulator that basically lets you do boss battles and like it's like a tournament kind of thing but you have to mm-hmm. get to that part in the game to replay that simulation and it's like this is fucking stupid why not have this just as an additional menu item it's, ugh. yeah I've heard, I've heard that complaint about that specific yeah. uh, thinking entirely I don't know if they'll ever fix it but if they would that'd be great but mm, I doubt it'll happen uh, wait for part 2 oh yeah we'll get that in 2025 maybe they'll fix it by then maybe we'll all be dead by then who knows <sighs> fingers crossed yeah, God willing. We're not. Sometimes we're just not that lucky. Ooh, these are good. Okay, so these are pools of reflection, and what it does is it adds a bonus percentage of experience for all the experience uh, you gain up to a uh, up to a cap. And once you hit that cap, it's uh, then you get a small bonus. The great thing is these things stack if you find more of them. Say what? And I think they I think they stack infinitely. Uh, I mean, yeah, finding that many is isn't as easy as you'd think, but uh, finding multiple multiple of them, huge experience bonus. So yeah, you'll see a little arrow that appeared there. Mm-hmm. Um, how do I? Uh, do I want to go to character details? And it's it's not it's not time based, thankfully. It's 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 consumed based on experience that you can gain. Okay. Uh, uh, so there's a cutoff to how much you earn, or? No, no, no. Um, it's just it's, so for all the experience that you get, it's gonna give you a it's gonna give you bonus experience. Like, let's I'll just do an example. For every one experience, it'll give you a bonus two. So you'll so for every time you get an experience, you get three, and then once you hit that like up to a certain amount. It's essentially like matching a donation. So when and when you hit that point, I think it gives you like a bonus sum. Oh, nice. Pretty sure that's how it works. And they and like I said, they do stack, so you can get big bonuses. Nice. So do we think Shin Megami Five is coming in at all? That. <laughs> I mean, oh, I want they it did. so bad. They show they showed the trailer. How many, it's probably they're probably just probably. I feel like it's one of the situations where they might have restarted to either or due to being displeased with the product or because they want to put on PS5. Yeah, yeah. I'm expecting it's going multi-platform, or it was multi-platform to begin with, and maybe Nintendo just had exclusivity rights or something like that. But yeah, I just want it so bad. See, I so now I'm of I'm more of side of things where I don't prefer the Shin Megami Tensei games because they're they don't fuck around and I don't have time for that shit. No, yeah, you definitely have to have some patience for it. Um, like I'm just I'm just here for a story. I'm not here to get my ass kicked. If, yeah. I, if like that's why I, that's why I don't like oh god. That's why I don't like Dark Souls or any of those games. I don't have time for the bullshit. Oh god. Jesus. Oh, I'm definitely dying. I'm stuck. Oh, I'm no. stuck. Oh no, please don't leave I me. I died. <laughs> oh I shit. Uh, resurrect at corpse, please. Are you just gonna resurrect in the poison again? Uh, yeah, but there's, uh, there's, there's, uh, you get some eye frames. I okay. can't do that. Shit. I'm just running. Um, until I can heal again. Oh my god, these things are brutal. Fuck. Ah, oh, fuck. They've trapped me. Yep. Okay. I'm running away again. Ugh. See, this is what I this is what I mean. Like these guys are assholes. Oh, 
Whew. All right. Okay, these pools can dissipate any time. Go away, please. Oh my god. Yeah, some, some backup would be lovely. I'm, I'm just... I'm coming. Shit. Chipping away at the Jeez, I'm doing like 13 hit, 13 hit points. That's horrible. I'm doing my best. Holy Jesus! Wow. Fuck. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this poor guy. <laughs> he stood no chance. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, where are we going? Cemetery for safe Weeping Hollow. Uh, uh, no navigation error this time. That's interesting. No, it's 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 just because we're way out of to the north. Ah. It only sh it only shows up once we get closer. Shield. Uh, ooh, that is a good shield. I ain't good shield. I um, I probably at some point. I don't know if it's a requirement for for paladins, but there may come a point where I just abandon shield because I technically prefer two-handed weapon for dual wielding. I don't know if I can do that with paladin. Uh, can't equip either. Give me that. Check my skills too. Flash. Your lightning, all right. Okay, so in, in the in the instance of um uh my one defensive skill, shield glare. In order to use it, I have to have a shield equipped. Ah. Do you think you'll use it that often that you would need that? Well, as it stands, it's better than the other one that I have. Like, it, uh, this one, this one will it'll it does a shield dash and will it blinds enemies, or I just have a a defensive buff where I, my skin turns to iron. So I'm gonna stick with the shield bash for now. Uh, ooh, I unlocked passive. Building a one hand weapon. Your attack speed is increase. Hmm. Fleet-footed or resolve? Fleet-footed just movement 10%. Resolve is damage you deal reduces enemy damage by 20% for 4 seconds. Seems like resolve uh, would be um... better. I like the damage mitigation. Yeah. Alright, I'll try that out. And what I was saying about two-handed weapons, I just, equip I just equipped a passive skill that allows me to wield two-handed weapons in one hand and a shield on the other, so that nice. completes that. God, monks are so fast. I love it. <laughs> okay. 
Search for the Chancellor's Altar beneath the Secretary of the Forsaken. So we're gonna have four of these things to check. Uh, we might have to go through all of them, we might only have to go through one. I will oh, these ones have Vortex, good. I feel like there was some sarcasm there. Uh, that just means they're gonna... They're gonna suck the call into one point for so you to get off. Jokes on them, we got AoEs. <laughs> Jokes on them, we pretty much stay in one spot anyway. Uh, yeah. A dark game. I think called Jar of Souls sounds ominous, so I left it, but is that something that we needed that we needed? Uh that's an objective thing. Okay. It's uh if we 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 just have to survive. Uh it, it, there are different like different like challenges. Like defeat X amount of enemies or X amount of waves with enemies in a certain amount of time, uh, in order to get a bonus. Uh this is just survive. Anything that can fuck me up. Some assistance. I don't know where you are, and go, I'm surrounded. Go back to go back to the jar. Oh. I'm not gonna live. Six, five more seconds. You could do it. Oh shit! I'm coming. Okay, well I survived. Yeah. I just gotta kill these things. Oh, there's more coming. Just FYI. <laughs> But these guys don't seem like they're enhanced, so... Okay, damn. Well, that would have been helpful during the battle. Huh. This loot. Uh, nothing good. Mm -hmm. uh, nothing good. Alright. 
Or did you already clear all this out? Nope. Well, there might have been some spawns from the Jar of Souls. Um, no, they only spawned in that one area. Okay. Then there's some other dudes in here, though. And these guys are stopped. Oh, good, Frost. That's, that's good. I think there was a mini boss in here, too. Yeah, he's right here. Hell of a game, I'm forgiven. I grow weak. Oh my, I'm getting body blocked. Oh god, I'm dead. Oh no. I'll try and pull him so you can get out. How good I'll be at that. Yeah, I thought these guys came with the Jar of Souls. I was wrong. Coming. That even that wasn't even our target, was it? No. <laughs> <That's just a laughs> Excellent. I don't. What is that? That was neat. That was the first. That was the. That was the one that I initially had. It just um, uh, I have an electric modifier on it. That's awesome. Okay, so that returns to the beginning. I must search one of the that means this one might not be. I think there's a couple of the paths. We still have a couple arms, other arms to explore. Yeah. <clears throat> Great. <laughs> what a good use of time. <laughs> <coughs> Great! Okay. Uh, Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> Which way is faster? To go to the exit or to... Okay, the exit. Yeah. This thing down here is just slightly faster. Alright. Man, I don't need your teleporting bullshit. <laughs> Don't hate the player. <laughs> I 
Alright, I think, I think what we can do is uh, fin finish the uh, the objective here, finding the chances for and call it quits for the evening. Agreed. It's good. It's good. Good stopping point. Oh, fuck. oh good! These ones oh, are frozen! A great way to start off. Thanks, guys. Oh shit. Oh god, it's not... <sighs> Just gotta make sure I'm not to get myself surrounded. Fuck! Alright, alright, okay. We gotta. We gotta take care of these God. lesser moves first, I think. Damn it. Okay. I can't do that. She just wants to die. <laughs> My studies indicate that a high level cleric of the Zakarun named Akan began to sense the corruption that was eating away at the heart of his faith. He knew this corruption would eventually destroy his beloved church and that he must and that he must take action. After much prayer, After much prayer Akan hit upon Akan the idea, upon the idea of, an order of, of an order of crusade. Those double damage orbs seem to drop just when you don't need them. Yeah. Super right. annoying. Ooh, that's a good one. 25 plus dexterity, 22 plus vitality, 6 plus life per second, 21 life per hit. Golden health pickup increased by 1 yards. I'll take it. So now when I blind now I have a mod when I blind enemies, enemies that are blinded take more damage. Oh nice. I could drop a giant bail on dudes, so my life's going pretty good too. We knew it was. We just uh, damn curiosity. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. 
Yeah, because we know if if we got the one we got the one with the objective, the teleport crystal would have been past the objective. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really gonna come down to the final one. Ah, uh, there's four. Oh. What is this? Frenzy Shrine. All right, attack speed. Ooh, Are those also stackable? If you find more? Uh, yeah. They're not. They're stackable in that if you find the same one, it'll just reset the time timer on it. Huh. Uh, alternately, if you find a different one, the new one. Like, hmm. These are. These technically aren't. It just resets the time. What was that bone thing flying around? Is that you? Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's one of the mainstays of the Paladin, is that uh, you get, you get circled by an arcane hammer. But, I'm not digging it too, too much. <laughs> the other one. It costs more, but it, it just feels more direct. Uh, yes, please. I found a super unique helmet. Nice. Ooh, the Orc's Crown. Legendary. 32 strength, 35 vitality, through 58 life per hit. Increase the effect of any gem socked into this item by 90%. Plus two thorn. Yes, please. I'm probably never going to let this thing go. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good helm. So one of the one of the really cool uh, things about my main character that I ended up getting to the point was um, I had so many items with um, life on hit bonuses um, that I, no matter what damage was done to me, I upon hit I recovered so much damage that it was basically my. Nice. <laughs> and I had an item called the Nagel Ring, which summoned a basically a suicide bomber to follow you around. He is, those things were so powerful, they were one-shotting bombs. Oh my god. Yeah, like like story bosses. That's to awesome. the point where I had to sometimes unequip it, uh, because it was killing bosses too quickly and I needed to get like um certain objectives like land the last hit. Mm-hmm. I'm like, okay, I gotta put the I gotta put the the ring away. These guys are too strong. I gotta take it off easy mode just for a moment. Yeah, I gotta take yeah, exactly. Take off easy <laughs> Do it myself. <laughs> that sounds rad. You this, there are a lot of things that you can do in the game that are pretty fun that, that even as a even as a pure like look I still it is, you wouldn't have been able I wouldn't have been able to do it in the game. Or at least any other Diablo game. So I can appreciate it here. 
Case in case in point, the the roundhouse kicking. <laughs> Is there a is there a passive ability eventually that you might get that just absorbs items around you, or is that not a? Uh, no, you will, you'll always have to like pick up items because you know, if you pick up everything, your inventory will fill up quickly. Ah. Um, you know, you you don't want to. Uh, there'll be a couple of point where you don't want to pick up everything. You don't you want to truly pick up like uh, any of the weapons that are hey, those uh, eventually will become. So just want, so so picking them up will just be wasting inventory stuff. Sure. Um, but there are, are there will be skills and items that um, allow you to pick up gold from the radio. I believe this is prob this probably is the one. Cause it's we haven't seen the uh the thing yet. The uh rune or whatever the I'm not a Diablo person, but you know what I mean, right? The, the thing. The the early uh, oh my god. <sighs> the thing that warps us the, out. The, the the dungeon return crystal. Yes, yes, yes. Second level, that's a good sign. Oh look, the objective marker. What could that mean? I don't have I enough speed. Actually, I'm gonna pull him out further because I think that's the door, and if there's items in the way, the door might be a bit of a pain. Hmm. Oh, you fucker! He <laughs> 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 pulled me in. I keep your ass, man. I screw around me, mom. Oh, I forgot. This is one of those games that you pick up items that you have to get appraised before you can use them, right? Uh, no. You can now identify them within your inventory. Oh. I, I, I don't know why. I feel like that's the one thing they could have just... Whatever. It's, right? Pleading Shrine. Okay, this will just make us run faster. Hmm. Yeah, it makes me run quicker. Thank you, game.
reactivate the sound. How the fuck do we reactivate Tom? Um. How the fuck do we I don't remember how to activate it. Oh, uh, uh, bring up your map and go to act, and you should be able to travel from there, right? Am I doing that right? No. No. Um, how the fuck do I activate? Um. Um, should be a, should be a button for him. I'm trying to remember what it was. It is not ready it is yet. Not ready yet. Not enough spirit. Not enough spirit. Ah, it's uh, right on the D-pad. Ah, there we go. You found the crown. crown. Alright, now he's gonna fix the crown. It's good to work it's again. Good to work again. There, there. New is the new is was the placed was upon, placed the, upon King's the black king's head. King's head. I need something I need more than something. me. As you more should. Than me. As you should. Okay. Check some of my inventory here. I need spirit. I need spirit. Oh, I guess I, I guess I'm sh I guess I share gold uh, account, uh, account wide because I have um four fourteen million gold. Yeah. <sighs> so, yeah, that's. Oh, on top of I have all I have all the crap. That is in my stash for my other character, so I have I have weapons in here that do like three thousand damage. Well, lucky you. I I am I can't use any though. It's all. Damn. <laughs> can't use any of that. Can't use that. Uh, can I use any of this? Nope. 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 I can use... Is it better to craft or, or salvage or sell at this point in the game? Uh, at this point for you sell. Salvage will... Salvage is for... Um, uh, later game stuff for like um, making new weapons. Right now, you just need money. Right. Okay.
Yeah, I can, I can barely use any of this shit. Um, <laughs> who the fuck do I sell to? May the gods, may the gods. After King Liu, lots, 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 lots of good. I have the clan, I have the clan. Ah, I volunteered. You have been, that's a simple, that's a simple. The news can use my news, it is my. So this is give how up, this is how give up then. Bless you for Bless saving you for King. King. I don't know what Leah would, would do. Leah would do. Would any of us? Would any of us? I wish to hear. Not much to hear. Not much to hear. When the skeleton, when the skeleton, please. I am surprised. I am surprised to see you working. I find you. I find you. Do not feel Do not despair, despair, my lord. You did everything, you, did everything you, could. you could. Our time. I must our try this somewhere else. else. Somewhere else. Can say. Can say. But in the end, in the end, fate, fate is a cruel is a mistress. Cruel mistress. Your, strength Your strength is needed to is end the horrors that, that beset this world. Beset this world. My, my final, wish final wish is that you find, that you your, find path. your path. Love always. always. Mira, Mira. All right, I guess we can call it here. Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to take a screenshot of my glam and my wings won't pop open. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, is there something else I wanted to check? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, what's our next? Objective: Return to the Cathedral Garden. Yeah, if we uh, if we quit it here, that that town portal will be there. Cool. Okay. Uh, how do I, I guess quit. Yeah, I was hoping you'd know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it should it should be fine. So we get back when we get back in with the same characters, we'll be able to pick up the left. Nice. That was a good time, good time. Yeah, man. Uh, this this game was trying so hard to be shit at the beginning, and somehow it became good. <laughs> I don't know. How many update iterations did it take to get there? Once it, once it came to console, then it started to figure itself out, which it was shocking to me. But... <laughs> It's a console. It's a console game. I mean, there's still it's still there's still a huge, uh, huge PC crowd for it because of so many quality of life improvements and patch after patch after patch of it finally becoming what it close to what it should be. Mm -hmm. um, there are some key differences though. Um, if you play, if you ever happen to play a wizard uh, in the console version, they do have um, a teleporting warp move. But on the console, you're only limited to using it three times in a burst before it goes on cooldown. On PC, you can actually use it m almost indefinitely. So it kind of changes how the game is played. Wow. I know. Does yeah, Blizzard uh, do they allow mods and stuff on PC? No, this game is no. This game is notorious. 
Mm. Part of the part of the reason why is because at least the PC version, um, all the loot is um, server side rather than client side. Ah. Uh. Um, which is not which is generally which is really frowned upon. Yeah, but, that makes sense. It's, it's, it's like well, if so, all of all of the so like all the drops are dependent on essentially being connected to the internet. Um, how they got away with it on the console at the very least Switch because I mean you can play this offline if you can play it on the go. Yeah. So obviously that changed it, but uh, it, honestly, it's probably easier to mod the console versions than the PC <laughs> version, which is <laughs> weird. Yeah, that is, seems a little backwards. But I don't know too many people who have hacked their Switch, so. I don't either. I'm always fearful of stuff like that, especially only like within like the first year of owning it, because I'm like, I need that yeah. warranty just in case something fucks up. <laughs> yeah. But it's getting to the point where I'm looking at my Vita thinking, you know, maybe it's time I <laughs> hack the Vita and just put whatever I want on it. It's been 10 years. Why not, right? Has it been ten years? Oh my years? god! I don't know. It, I, uh, I threw that number out there. I might be wrong. No, it's 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 pretty close. I mean, if if this is eight years old, then yeah, the Vita is pretty close to that. Oh my god! How many girlfriends is that? Five? <laughs> uh, no, that was that was, the uh, no, still four. <laughs> I, the, my long my longest relationship so far had last five or six years. So mm. a lot. There's a lot of things that are attached to that specific. Uh, uh, yeah, she was she was actually she was with me when I went to EB Games and I bought it. Be I bought the Vita straight up on a whim because I found out it launched with a Katamari gun. That was enough for me. <laughs> I, I can't judge. Two hundred fifty dollar console for Katamari. Yeah, all right, sure. Yeah. I did the same thing for the God of War PSP. So I am not throwing stones. I get it. Sometimes you just <laughs> you do what you got to do, right? It's it's always Sony's. Fault. <laughs> they just make some really cool shit sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. Then they, then they just, then they end up smelling their own farts way too much. Mm, yep. And we have to pay for it and also smell their shit. So. Yeah, I'm not look. I'm honestly not look. PS Five. That thing is gonna be expensive <sighs> in Canadian. Yeah, I'm. I'm. It's not... gonna. It's gonna cost Canadians like seven or eight hundred dollars. Uh, I can't. Imagine. I'm thinking now, like Brazilian, um, Australian, like they're gonna be paying insane amount of money just for something. Yeah, like, that. like, like, like eleven hundred dollars. Uh, like ridiculous. Thank God. We, well, I, well, if, I live in they, America. If can, <laughs> but if they can get, a, if they can get a good strong lineup, I'll, I'll fucking buy one. I guess. I'm gonna do my best to do the, what I did with the PS4 and just wait a year or two, wait for the well, inevitable I, upgrade, and then wait for the library to be built, and then I'll be no, happy. No, that's here. that's kind of what I that's kind of what I did. Bloodborne came out, and I'm like, hmm, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, I bought the, I bought the game before I even bought the console. Wow. Like the, the game, the like I bought the game. Like, well, I bought the game because it was on sale. I'm yeah. Like, oh, well, I'll get the game. I'll get the console eventually, and then the game showed up. And I was going, and I was going through a breakup at the time, so I got, I was being real stupid. I'm like, "Fuck it, I'll buy a PS4. I don't give a shit." <laughs> uh, love makes you do weird things, and the lack of love also yeah. sometimes too. Oh fuck! After every breakup, I make a bad financial decision. That one's a PS4. Uh, I've gotten tattoos after breakups. So just. It's completely normal. We all we all do like that's whatever your coping mechanism might be, as long as yeah. it's not anything dangerous or self harm, and you're not oh god no, no. damaging I, anyone no, I mean, else. I, I mean, do you do you consider self harm not leaving not leaving your bed, not showering, just playing video games and eating yourself till you cry? Um, <laughs> and as I've done that, <laughs> no, because you're self aware. I think if you weren't aware of it. That would be harmful, but it sounds like you're. I don't know. I'm not a psychologist. It, I shouldn't be giving any sort of advice. It's just me walling in my own fucking mis. <sighs> <laughs> but I'm okay now. Yay! Yay. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll right. Uh, we'll do this again. Um, I didn't stream this one just because I wanted okay. to, to test some things out. But next time, if if that's cool, we'll stream. Um, yeah. 
and uh, we should be good to go. We'll just do like a quick recap at the beginning of what we've done thus far, I guess. Um, yeah. And I'm gonna um, I'm gonna my, lean on my you to that. My recommendation, if you've got the disposable income, invest in a desk mic. Um, yeah. I've got, I've got Scott. I've got a run of the Mel Blue Yeti. I do have one of those, um, and I will uh, work on that for the next time. As I'll I'll still use headphones for the audio and i will use oh yeah no, they, yeah i've got my i've got my i've got my headset i've got the desk mic to my left here yeah yeah i will uh i'll break